jumping at the moment, Tristan, thank goodness, because it's the first painted reed frog that I've found since I've been here. We hear them all the time, but these little frogs are actually really tricky to spot. And we were so, so, so lucky to come walking through here. We're down at the dam, but sadly what I originally wanted to show you is now underwater, which I suppose is a good thing. But we've got this little fella who's decided that not quite ready to swim around and it's actually very common for these frogs to sit perched up on some leaves or some little twigs and they make the most beautiful noise. But this has to be the most unbelievable color that I've ever seen a painted reed frog to sort of have or patterns and things and it's really tiny. I'm actually gonna just bring my hand in just to show you Look how small that is. Tiny, tiny little critter. And the only reason I spotted it, I can tell you, if it had its, if it had its sort of more greens on it, I wouldn't have seen it at all. But the fact that it's got this black, orange, and, and white on it, it stood out like an absolute sore thumb. But it is indeed such a beautiful creature, and I reckon that if we were to look hard enough around here, we'd probably find a couple more of them. And if maybe Brent or Tristan come past here tonight, we'll probably hear this chap and well the rest of its friends making one really big noise. Well, I suppose it's a beautiful sound, the chorus of frogs, isn't it? And we've been lucky. We've been seeing so much frog action. You heard the banded rubber frogs with Tristan. We've had bullfrogs fighting with Jamie and I think Tristan too and me earlier on in the year. It's been exceptional. So this is another one to add to the list. Like we do bird lists, I think it's a good idea to make a frog list as well. And I think the frogs are harder to find than the birds, so a little bit more of a challenge. So add the good old painted reed frog. We should have a little skim around here. Let's see what else we can find. It's actually really interesting. Um, let's see, we need to find a nice animal pathway around here. It's very wet and there's been a couple of creatures that have been wallowing around. And we've also got to be careful for crocodiles. Like in an area like this, I probably wouldn't recommend coming to walk on your own. Just because it could really be anything. Hiding in the long grass, big pythons and things. So just, of course, watch your step. 